Alright, we have a question here where someone's ordering a takeaway from a menu and there are certain uh, criteria that her order needs to meet. Emily is going to order a takeaway. She wants to order one portion of chicken, two or more portions of vegetables, two or more portions of rice, and she wants to spend between 18 and 20 pounds. Choose food for Emily to buy and find the total cost. Remember to check your answer. And then we have this uh, price list over here. Uh, so reading through the things that we need to do, my first thought is that this one here, the one portion of chicken, that's really specific and it's not flexible. So straight away I can say that my one portion of chicken is going to cost me £3.20, just reading from that menu over there. Good, okay. Now the vegetables and rice are a bit different because it says we need two or more portions of vegetables and rice. Um, so two or more, that could start starting at two, you could have two portions of vegetables and rice, you could have three or four, That's th those are all two or more. Uh, I'm going to start by working out how much it would be for two portions of vegetables and two portions of rice. Now I'm predicting, just looking at the question, that this won't be enough and it'll be less than £18. This order altogether will cost less than £18, so I'll have to increase the number of vegetables and rice until it's in this range, in this little price bracket. Uh, but let's let's find out. So two portions of vegetables, that's two times £3.90. Uh, that's seven. My, well, my calculator says 7.8, but because it's money, I can't say 7.8. This is £7.80. And if you think of it that way, that makes that tells you that you need to put the zero on the end of it. So when you're dealing with money, you always want two decimal places. Because you don't go to a shop and they don't say it's going to be £3.5. They say it's going to be £3.50. Uh, so £7.80 for the vegetables. Just copy that to the working out box. Uh, and for the rice, it'll be two times £1.50. Uh, for a total of three pounds for the rice. Right now, this order altogether: three pounds for the rice, plus seven pounds eighty for the vegetables, plus three pounds twenty for the chicken. This order that I've just put together here is fourteen pounds. Now that's not enough because our order needs to be between eighteen and twenty pounds. So I'm going to have to increase the number of vegetables or rice or both uh, that I order in order to make the order more expensive so that it is between 18 and 20 pounds. Uh, 14's quite far away. 14 is four pounds away from the lowest amount she wants to spend. So I think I'm probably going to need to increase the vegetables and rice. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to increase the vegetables to three and the rice to three. And we'll see if that does it. That might go over. It might still be under. I don't know yet. Um, so these are no longer right. So just delete those. And I can keep my working out there, uh, and I'm going to leave my working out there to show that I tried something different first. Uh, so the vegetables, the new price for the vegetables, this time it's three lots of £3.90, which is £11.70, not just 11.7, that's £11.70. And for the rice it's three lots of £1.50, which is £4.50. Uh, I keep noticing my working out going into the wrong space here, and every time it does that I just highlight it, delete it, move my cursor where I want it to be, down here, and copy it again. I'm not sure why it does that on my computer. Um, so £4.50 for the rice, uh, and this order will cost in total uh, well, £3.20 for the chicken, £11.70 for the vegetables, and £4.50 for the rice. £19.40, not just £19.4, £19.40. Right, let's just go through what she wanted and make sure that we've got everything she needed. One portion of chicken. Yep. Two or more portions of vegetables. Well, three is two or more, so that's okay. Two or more portions of rice. That's fine too. And she wants to spend between 18 and 20 pounds. Uh, well, 19 pounds 40 is between 18 and 20, so that one's done too. Right, so there we go. We've got the working out box. And an interesting thing about this one is that it says you may use the box below to show you're working. So if you don't get this completely right, they may give you some marks for this, but that's all of this stuff together, that's what you need to do for a three mark question.